Hello everyone, welcome back to Outro's Plays Stoneblock 2. Let me show you what I've done while well, my FPS lags slightly. Apologies for this. Uh, this is as far as I've got, the end of my diggy diggy hole. I have got some pickaxe left, but I got enough resources for now, so I thought I'd bring you back, show you what uh, we're going to do next. We come all the way up here. I mean, looking at it now, it doesn't seem like I've diggy diggy hole that much stuff, but there's a lot of... A lot of cobble that used to be here that is now not here, and we're going to go ever on upwards until we've reached the surface. I do not know how high up the surface is, but you see we start at 90. We're going up one block at a time. 93. Uh, we'll get there. Don't worry about that. Don't worry too much. I have replaced the torch that was underneath this crucible with lava, just so that we can melt the lava that little bit more quickly, uh, and we'll just keep putting cobble in there. Uh, and I started a small farm with the seeds that I had, simply because I kept getting hungry. But then I remembered you can cook apples. And from that I remembered that you can turn charcoal into tiny charcoal just by crafting it in a crafting table. Each one of those burns for as long as it normally takes a vanilla furnace to smelt one ore or cook one thing. So you turn one piece of charcoal into eight pieces of tiny charcoal, and then you don't waste any, although it's kind of not that big of a deal. Here is the stuff that I was preparing. Um, we do, oh, actually, we need to prepare a little, oh, do we? No, we don't. So each one of these rows will create one uh, grout like this. Grout. I was looking at knife, I can't remember why. Ta-da! The thing about grout is that um, you need a lot of it. <laughs> each one of these will turn into one brick. Although that's a lot of bricks now, actually. I think I may have gone too far. As if such a thing were possible. Um, we also need more coal slash charcoal. So maybe what I should do now is throw some of this in here. We can watch that cook and I'll explain what we're going to do. Well, we're going to make a space first. Where are we going to put it? There's one um, sieve without a thing in it yet. We haven't quite got enough string. But we do have uh, flax seeds, which is one of the few seeds I did have available to me. Um, the flax seeds... Can, can we do this? Thank you. Uh, turn into flax, and flax itself turns into string. So we have enough string. In fact, I think I might even have the one more string mesh. It's just that I don't have any more flint to turn it into a flint mesh. So I haven't done it. It's not that big of a deal, because for a start, I've not really sieved that much recently anyway. Um, we should start digging out more. I don't want this farm to be here permanently. But it is a place for it to be. For now, at least, because I just need the resources. I've grown rice as well. Uh, rice is going to be useful in the future because we are at some point going to want slime. And if we don't find a way of making slime, we can turn rice into essentially slime. Because if you ever mix rice with water, that's pretty slimy. In fact, that's the basis of most Japanese cooking. That sounded... <laughs> I know that sounded snide, but it kind of is. You know, a lot of... Um, Rice is the staple of Japan, right? It's the main crop that grows in Japan. So, stuff that happens when you mix rice with water as the basis of a system of cooking is not that bad. Plus, it's gooey, but it's really nice. I really like mochi, for example. Um, there's a type of bread made of rice that I'm not sure if I like or not. But, you know, you can't win them all. So we're going to um, start off with just a, a humble hovel here. Hovel, hovel, hovel. Once I watched Sips play in Minecraft, Sips and Stjin, and Sips said hovel, and Stjin went, what? <laughs> and he went, well, it's shovel, so it's hovel. Anyway, well, fair enough. So, um, it's more than enough uh, stone here to just repair this indefinitely. So we're going to do that. Uh, and whilst, oh, we should make sure that we're doing these things properly. You need to be cooking up. So, for, see how one of those turns into one of those? You can... I don't... It's not worth it. Uh, you get eight of these for each of those, which means I've now got more than a stack. I have googly eyes. I do not want... <laughs> Make it go away. Now we can cook... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, we can do it back. If you do this... Please. Eight of these... Turns back into charcoal. So we can just... Fit, it's easier. Right, so that should do all of those. Eight more. And we get more available. So this is going to turn into bricks. 
Bricks are going to be made using... Uh, bricks are going to be made into the smeltery. Now, we need a, still a fair amount, although a smeltery used to have to be a 3x3 three three structure. Uh, which I, I still sort of do now by out of habit sort of thing. I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm actually going to do a 2x2 two two smeltery. For now, we will probably pull it apart, put it back together again later. Uh, in a slightly more impressive fashion. But starting off with a smeltery is pretty useful because unless you accidentally make an alloy, you can just chuck all your stuff into it and it'll double it. Um, so we're going to want... I mean, this is so slow right now. <laughs> this is the other thing. We need we need a power just so that we can have a powered furnace. You know, that's one. You see, that's one of those. Oh, dear. Because at least a powered furnace might go a little bit quicker. So we need one of those. Let me show you the parts that we're going to need. It's going to be everything made of seared bricks, basically. Um, there is seared bricks, all the decorative versions thereof. We need a seared furnace controller. We may want seared glass or a window or a gauge. I don't know what that is. There's a tank. It says heart of the smeltery. I think that means um, it's one of the main pieces, but you don't need a gauge as far as I know. We should try it. Let's make one. What is it uh, made out of? Any stained glass or any glass? Except any glass. So a lot of glass and four of those. We're going to need a tank. We're going to need a controller, which is a furnace. It's easy. And uh, a whole bunch of these plus a faucet, a faucet, which is three. And what does this do? Build with faucets to move liquids for casting. Interesting. Uh, and a table. Basically, if I just press U on here. One of those. A couple of those. One of those. Lots of those. One of those. What is this? Is a seared furnace different from... Is this a new thing that I don't know about? It might be. <clears throat> uh, maybe some of those. Maybe some of that. Part of the smoke, yeah. Uh, one of those. A couple of those. Tinker tank controller. These are things I've never heard of. Interesting. Anyway, let's see how many that goes through. Some. <laughs> Not too many. I think we'll... Task complete, seared bricks. Oh, I did complete a couple of tasks by accident. Um, let's see what we won. 16% of smells. Right. It, it's right here. Here are the pieces that we want. It tells us. Um, also, we didn't... Um, we. Oh, I see. We've gone this way. I've made some clay. We needed that. Uh, give me. Oh, I've done it. That's what the ex <laughs> We made a crucible and we fired it. So that's pretty good. Two times double layer capacitor. Do not know. Stone barrel. Uh, we can make. Might as well make these as we go along. Let's have a look in our quest book and um, see if we can get some of that done whilst we're waiting. Let's put these down. We're probably going to want uh, a hole here and a hole here, so let's make those. Just for now. Quests. Uh, stone barrel. Barrel. I did fix the font, by the way. The, the font that came with the mod pack is designed to replace the main Minecraft font, which is very blocky, but I quite like the Sfax font, so I have kept it. Uh, that was also in a similar place to the, uh, the, the morph. Uh, here we go. It's stone and a stone slab. Is this? It's any stone. So that's presumably not cooked stone, uh, not uh, cobblestone. I don't have any slabs, but that's okay. So this, oh, hmm. Let's make a couple more furnaces. Because we probably should. <laughs> Why not? Put this here, you look. There we go. Let's just do something like this. This is very vanilla stuff going on here. We really want this out of the way ASAP. Although, you can make a different type of furnace straight away, right? Furnace generator. Survival generator. There's a, you can make a, a better furnace, right? Furnace. Might as well jump to a new furnace if we can. Uh, resourceful furnace. Iron furnace. Yes. Furnace generator furnace. 
Silver furnace. That doesn't sound very good. Seared furnace controller. Infernal furnace, that's cool. I do like those. Uh, and then there's the um, furnaces from Mystical Agriculture as well, which are kind of okay. I mean, we could just make a f an EU furnace, right? Which is a machine block, which is iron, redstone. No. <gasps> Everything needs redstone. We're going to have to start um, hacking around trying to get redstone. How much iron do we have? We have got eight. Okay, let's make one iron furnace. But that's like going to be a little bit better, but not that much better than the furnace that we do have. And wait, where's all the... Did I put all my charcoal in there? All right. Didn't have that much charcoal either. Maybe we should use the new furnace to make uh, more charcoal. Also, the nice thing about the iron furnace is you can put loads of fuel in it and extra stacks of things like this. And it goes, does go a little bit quicker. So it's not the end of the world. We've got 20 of those whilst we were gassing on. So let's do this. I want four of these. And then we can probably afford to... Oh, let's just put this tiny charcoal in here since it can accept it. There we go. Um, four of those, yes. We want one of these. And then we'll keep the rest for now. Task completed, force it. Maybe I should make a little... Um, chest just to hold this stuff for now one two three four great can i just put this anywhere yes right you can just hang out in the world for now don't let me forget that you're there we were making <laughs> i only wanted one uh, you can just stay in there go and then you will cook up some cobblestone no give me one back there we go oh that's crap that's fine Brain, please. Give me this. Put it in here. Turn this stone. Right. Uh, how are we doing? Six. That's fine. We can also now make this. And we've got one left. What else is in our quest book? There's other places we can go. Um, we are visiting the mining dimension. We're on the way here. We can make a heavy sieve. We might be able to make that straight away. Let's have a look. Heavy. Heavy oak sieve. Oh, yeah. No worries. Uh, give me some wood back. Five of them. And I should have some sticks somewhere. No sticks, no? Yes. Two sticks. So this is going to make a, he a heavy stick, a uh, heavy stick, a heavy sieve, and then we will... Heavy st too much uh, too much of your uh, cataclysm going on there. So this can sieve compressed things, but I'm not going to use it for a while. Um, although maybe... I don't know. I don't know, really. We can oh, not that button. So this is this one done. Give me my reward. And this is a auto sieve, which is going to be hard to make. What did I get? A generator. Cool. Fair enough. We should start looking at redstone now. Redstone. That comes from sieving dust. Dust, darling. I don't know if I need all this sand. This is going to make a lot of ground, actually. I've realized I went way overboard. <laughs> because, honestly, the stuff that we've got already is almost going to be enough, I think. We should make some glass, too. So let's, uh, let's nick some of this sand. Cook some of it into... Give me this. Um, no. There. Glass. I need that one, at least. Give me that. Put this here. This is your tank. Now, the tank holds the lava and the lava melts the stuff this is completely against all known laws of thermodynamics just don't worry about it okay so we can do this and this if you build a smell tree you can break it apart at any point and it will maintain its contents which sounds a bit weird because it's full of molten metal but just go with it because it's very useful but it will not maintain it if you um break the controller so don't do that otherwise you'll be fine uh that's not where this goes this hole so my mistake also i'm not going to fill these in with uh stone because time and resources are precious right now but not for long they don't have to stay precious so soon we can at least start making this place look a bit nicer plus we're not going to be using flipping you know 
stone and stuff forever. We're going to have resources to decorate with. Um, I like this because now I want... Actually, I don't need... Do I need that much? I'll put this away for now. I don't think I need it just yet. Uh, and this, please, will give us... What haven't we done? I've lost track. Also, I need the controller. You duh. That's not enough for a controller. Six. Seven. One more, please. Oh, these vanilla furnaces are so flipping slow. I'm going to do this. Also, there's an output slot, so if there's something else comes in, it pushes it to the output slot and continues uh, melting, but only once. This is your controller. Which means the smeltery quest is completed, and hopefully it doesn't give me something. <laughs> oh, nope. That I've already made. It's going to be a random reward, right? Ooh, hello. Watermill. Amazing. That's perfect. We can start on power very much straight away now. Um, well, we already have, but you, uh, I need space for this. So let's put this in our random tech and stuff box for now. Uh, and later we will definitely come back to that. Um, I want one more mesh. What, what's the minimum mesh for redstone, by the way? On the heavy sieve, it's iron. On the normal sieve, which is refusing to show up. It's also iron, so we need an iron stiffened mesh, which is six iron and a flint one, right? And we've only got this many flint ones in the first place, so we're going to have a little way to go before we get to iron. Dear me. And one more drain, please. Uh, I ran out of Groot. Oh, here's some Groot. One more drain. And on top of all of that, we need a thingy. But look, this is working now. We've only got four slots. Does it hurt? No. We've only got four slots, so we can't put much in it, which is why I tend to prefer to have a 3x3, three three, but that's okay. We can at least start with a... <laughs> well, we need to turn this into as much of that as we can. So each one of these will now turn into two pieces of iron, if I'm correct, or at least... It, I, in theory, that's correct, but... I don't know if the mod pack has changed the way that works, so we'll see. Uh, oh, coal. Actual coal. Nice. Um, thank you for this. And we need a bucket. Go. This basin here. It's exactly what we need. So now the one more thing that we do need to do, we get this. And what we want to do is make aluminium brass. Brass. Uh, you'll see that the molten aluminum brass is uh, smelting, no, alloying. Alloying, you can basically, many things can be alloyed together. You can either use an alloy furnace or you can chuck them into the Tinker's Construct Smeltery, which is slower and doesn't take power. It does take lava. We can make lava. It's three millibuckets of aluminium to one millibucket of copper, neither of which is iron. <laughs> so we now have eight ingots of iron and we only threw four of these in, right? So eight ingots is nearly a block. So we're going to have nine, ten ingots in a minute. But we still need aluminium brass because aluminium brass, or I think all gold, but we haven't got gold. Have we got gold? We have got gold. This might work. Let's try this. Because all we need to do is this. Put that in here. I'm pretty sure gold and iron do not uh, alloy. But we'll find out. <laughs> Famous last words, right? Um, plenty of this. And let's keep filling this up so that we've got lava going. And we can keep this going. So as long as you don't break this block, you can break as many of these blocks as you want. Uh, and you will maintain the inventory of the thing. But um, you, you can also build this vertically. So if we had more groat like this, some of this, I mean, this is only four, right? Is that enough? That's enough. No, I need eight. <laughs> you could maybe in theory do a one by one. I don't think you could. But if you make it taller, then you'll have more inventory space. Right? That makes perfect sense. Obviously. I said it. I'm going to just do this. There we go. Uh, quests? What's next? Cobblestone generator. That might be easy to do. 
So we need to make a tool forge. A tool forge uses blocks of iron to make, but it does allow us to make the hammer, which is why we're doing this in the first place, because a hammer lets you break two by two, uh, three by three areas. In fact, it will only break three by three areas. So here is a, there's a whole bunch of new quests. We've already made, have we not already made a basic draw? No, but we can. So this is wood and all this is the draw stuff, but we need extra material for it. Um, this is quite high tech stuff, it looks like. Yeah, we're not going to manage this. Uh, chickens, cool. Fluid cat. Oh, uh, who? Who? I do. Oh, uh, uh, mystical agriculture. Yes, I, I can. I feel it. Not going to get into Draconic Evolution or Project E for some time. Stream crafting and Thorncraft. We might be able to make some Sailor's Mundus very easily as well. So we've got some things we can start playing with very soon indeed. Uh, but just for now, we're going to see if this is going to work. Yes, it did not think. So if you click on it, it puts it to the bottom. And if it's at the bottom, it will pour. And if it pours, it will make a cast. So we are making an ingot cast, which will destroy that block, unfortunately. But... Oh, I need another one of those. Bro. What are you doing? I don't have three. Give me these. Uh, doot, doot, doot. And then do do do, and then do do do, and then do. So now we've got a bit more room. For, oh, I need four. Three, two. I'll come back. Two of those. One of those. Three of those. Usually, sneak will prevent the normal thing that it's normally doing from doing the thing. So now we have a block of iron plus an ingot, which is great. So we've already started doubling ores, and that's really where we were going with this particular episode. Uh, and that's how Tinkers works. So we will obviously be playing a lot more with Tinkers in the near future, but um, this is... Look how slow it takes to cool... Look how slowly it cools down, though. It's fine, but... Slow. You can go in here. So we can, we can chuck all these in. As long as we can make these into... Um, things we can smelt the things right and then anything that's left over we'll just sieve some more of so i mean we're near getting towards the end of the episode it's not the end of the episode yet don't worry don't worry so look plenty of room now but um i'm gonna make a chest to go there uh the, the, essentially there's kind of no point in me starting a new thing just yet I'm actually going to just make one chest, so I'll do it this way. We could make an iron chest right now, but I'm not going to. So I'll put the spare bits in here, and then when they go through the system, one block, one ingot, nice. It's much quicker to do it that way, I think. And then we can put these over here where crafting happens. That's fine too. These can go in here. Oh, we should have some stone. Where's my stone? Perfect. We can complete this quest. No. <laughs> uh, please cook this. Thank you. We were doing this quest, you see. And now that we've done this quest, what does the stone barrel even get us? Put it here. I think that's going to be good for us. Let's see where we get from this. Main, I like the exclamation mark here. It tells you that there's a quest complete in there. Random reward. It is imaginary time block. I don't know. Creepy dolls. Craft a porcelain doll. A porcelain doll is used to craft the other dolls which spawn specific mobs when used on a barrel full of a specific fluid. I remember that from back then. Make some netherrack. Make some netherrack by using redstone on a barrel full of lava. That's how we get the steel that I wanted. Biome marker. This reward is reputable in case you lose it, as it's the only way to make hell biome, which is the nether. So the only way to get to the nether is to create a uh, netherite. Fine, 16 of them, but nevertheless. Uh, so we need to make an iron mesh, but we can now. We've got a lot of iron. A lot, a lot of iron. That's lead. Plenty of aluminium. Wow, that melts quick. Look at that. Boom. How much is it? One block, three ingots. So one, one. Aluminium, it does melt at a very low temperature in real life as well, so this makes perfect sense. 
three ingots, one block. And what else have we got? Stuff in here. Stuff in here. Copper, nickel, tin. I think copper is going to be more useful for now, so we'll put that in there. And then back over here. This has gone well. I, I think we've done a decent amount in just 20 minutes right here. Get this out of here. Get that out of there. Put that in here. Put this in here as well. It's, it kind of feels like an ingot, but it's also not. Uh, and then you can go in here. I ruined my arrangement of these, but that's okay. Let's take some sand. Let's beat it up. Let's take our lint stiffened mesh and turn it into an iron mesh. And hopefully, oh, let's um, get these googly eyes off my face. It's not funny. Iron stiffened mesh. It's only six, which is nice. We do get to keep a decent amount of iron out of that. And plus we can probably get more as a result anyway. So put that there and then beat up this sand because we only need dust. Go. And this is going to be slow to start with, but hopefully we'll start getting some redstone. When we get some redstone, we can make a powered furnace, which is good because we've already got power. We just need a furnace. What is this, by the way? Quantum flux. We've got two redstone, which is grand. I'm not going to waste, say waste, I'm not going to use up my redstone for now on netherrack because, you know, the entertainment value of sitting here watching me do one dust block at a time trying to get redstone uh, is not to be sniffed at. So, you know, the value of redstone is constantly in flux. So, you know, get in on it. Dum -dee -dum. Just going to stop for now. We've still only got two. As you go up through the tiers of uh, mesh, you know what? What am I even doing? Let's need an empty hand to do that, but let's do this. Might as well put this here. Let's do this. Compressed dust. Now we can do six at a time. This one is telling me about my uh, progress. Shocking. Oh, I got some surface quartz. I can't use a single. It has to be. Oh, okay. Didn't know that. So let's do three more sand. Pardon? Oh, I already have <laughs> Get this and then do that and then put this. Oh, how confusing. One, two, three. And then this, please. And then. Whoa. That went weird. So now we can do one more. Press. And in your hand. And then go over here. Nice. Skystone dust. Five redstone. What did we need for a furnace from extra utilities to uh, machine block, which needs iron, a chest and four redstone. Do we have that much iron? Yes. Do we have that much wood? Of course we do. Where is it? Here. Yeah. There's some already. Uh, one chest. One machine block. We need bricks. That's four machine blocks. That's very useful. Thank you. Uh, we don't have bricks, but we do have clay. Let's, let's uh, take this clay apart. I think we've got enough seared stuff for now. I definitely went overboard. Last time I did seared stuff, I kept getting thwarted by the fact I didn't have enough. But I just made as much as I possibly could. Uh, it wasn't necessarily the correct thing to do. We've got blaze powder, which is great. Glowstone dust as well. Redstone can go in here. I'm going to have to make a chest for this sort of dusty type uh Gubbins, but for now I'm just shoving everything in here that it doesn't go in anything. <laughs> Machine block I'll keep on me and then uh I don't need these for now. So we can go back in there. Now I don't know what this imaginary time block is. Whoa, look at all those Thorncraft things and all that EMC. That's nice. Um we want to create this, which means we need these, which means we need clay in a furnace, which means we need these bricks. Two more please. Let's just watch this tick over because that's fun and entertaining for everybody involved. Wow, it's gone midnight. It's late today. Cool. Uh, furnace from EU. There we go. Bonk. And then you are now burning more fuel because you are taking up 
But there we go. That is the RF meter. Okay, I thought it was water for some reason. So now we should be able to put uh, this in here instead. Which I'm not going to do because if we need to cook something, I'm going to wish I'd not use that up. And we'll put these in here. Put these in here. All right, that seems good. So we really now just need to get a whole bunch more just of everything. You know, we've got a block and an ingot of copper, which is great. We need way more iron specifically because we want to make a tool forge so that we can create a hammer. Um, and I'm going to have to chop down a tree a little bit in order to get some more food because this isn't very big. Once we've got a hammer, we are going to go hell for leather on just opening this place up huge, nice and big, uh, propping it up with some wood, things like that. But for now, we're living in this tiny little uh, little hut. I'm going to try and make all of these into iron stiff and mesh as well. You've seen it happen. We're just going to look. I mean, iron comes from, um, no, iron piece. Iron, no, no. What are these called? Piece, iron piece, or... This comes from gravel, which I can make a lot of. I mean, I actually do have a lot of it. So I'll probably sift all this instead of turning it into um, into more smeltery stuff. We can get back to the smeltery stuff later. This is plenty of smeltery for now. I'm perfectly happy with that. So we will make more gravel go through this off camera. I'm not going to do that now. Um, and... In the next episode, we'll see what we get out of it. And hopefully it's enough iron and stuff like that to start making a tool forge. And then with the tool forge, we can make the hammer. And with the hammer, we can make headway. So thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. Hope that you will join me in... Oh, I've got a diamond. <laughs> Hope you'll join me in the next episode. But for now, I'll see you.